While other companies want to perfect the technology first, Tesla's full self-driving strategy has been to create a car with all of the sensors that they think are necessary and then release autonomous updates as they become ready. The biggest reason why is that with hundreds of thousands or one day millions of cars on the road, Tesla can gather massive amounts of information and use it to train the neural net or the computer behind full self-driving. The latest feature is Smart Summon, and without taking machine learning into account, it's received a fair amount of criticism. The ride of the future may have just hit a pothole. Videos of the car company's autonomous feature oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. failing. Parking lots are extremely complicated. Each one is different, and navigating them can sometimes be tough, even for people. Parking stall layouts can be perpendicular or angled to create one-way traffic. Sometimes they're angled in normal two-way traffic. Then of course there's pedestrians which can pop out of nowhere from any angle, and then you've got other cars which can be parked, driving, or stopped in the road. Sometimes knowing when to wait or pass can be tricky. Trying to figure out all of the edge cases is pretty insane. It's no wonder Smart Summon was delayed, and we shouldn't be surprised that it's not perfect now that it can be used in most parking lots. There is a pretty big benefit to the system not being perfect though. We get to see the most advanced version of Tesla's machine learning in action, or more specifically, if it's as good as Elon says it is. I, I think we will be feature complete full self-driving this year, meaning the car will be able to find you in a parking lot, pick you up, take you all the way to your destination without an intervention this year. I, I would say that I am certain of that. That is not a question mark. Tesla's full self-driving for all roads is still undergoing testing, and Autopilot, which launched in 2014, hasn't always had access to Tesla's latest tools. Smart Summon is taking on a fairly complicated new category of driving for the system. However, this time it has access to a more advanced neural net and a much larger learning fleet that's growing almost exponentially. I think it's safe to say that this is one of Tesla's biggest tests yet, and fortunately, we all get to watch. When Smart Summon fails, just like autopilot engagements, that data is sent to a dedicated team at Tesla to analyze and then retrain the neural net to reduce the likelihood of similar errors. For example, let's say that a user cancels Smart Summon after noticing that a car is pulling out of a parking space, which the Tesla failed to notice in time. That's one great example, but neural nets need as many as possible. Tesla can gather thousands of examples though by asking the entire fleet to send footage whenever it's in a parking lot and has detected a car pulling out of a parking space. The team can then collect the most useful examples and feed it to the neural net to make it better at detecting cars pulling out of parking spaces, maybe when it notices a slight movement or something. Going one step further, Tesla can see how the driver in those examples responded, such as did they wait, slow down, or swerve. Tesla can then take the best driver responses to give to the neural net to mimic, so that not only can it better detect these situations, it can better respond to them. What's amazing is that after training the system, Tesla can test it with every car in the fleet without the driver even knowing in what's called shadow mode. While in shadow mode, the system can make constant predictions for, say, when a car will leave a parking stall, and then Tesla can see how accurate the prediction was and fine-tune it to perfection. It's pretty mind-blowing, and it's exactly what Tesla does with autopilot, such as detecting when cars will cut into its lane on the freeway. We actually use a fleet learning approach. So the way this works is we ask the fleet to please send us data whenever they see a car transition from a right lane to the center lane or from left to center. And then what we do is we rewind time backwards and we automatically can annotate that, hey, that car will, turn, will in 1.3 seconds cut in, in, front of the, in front of you. And then we can use that for training the neural net. And so the neural net will automatically pick up on a lot of these patterns. So for example, the cars are typically yawed. They're moving this way. Maybe the blinker is on. All that stuff happens internally inside the neural net just from these examples. So we ask the fleet to automatically send us all this data. We can get half a million or so images, and uh, all of these would be annotated for cut-ins, and then we train the network. Um, and then we took this cut-in network and we deployed it to the fleet, but we don't turn it on yet. We run it in shadow mode. The question now is, how long will it take before Smart Summon reaches a point where it can correctly and reliably navigate complicated parking lots or even park itself? 
As we can tell by some footage from people testing Smart Summon, parking lots are pretty complicated and there's some room for improvement. If Smart Summon improves beyond expectation, this is a good sign for the future of full self-driving under Tesla's strategy. However, it could also highlight the complexities of full self-driving and show us that maybe falling asleep at the wheel is further than we hoped. I'd love to know what you think and please leave your thoughts in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Also, if you want to support the channel, I've got some stylish, simple lightning bolt merch for sale on Amazon. Link in the description. Thank you very much for watching.